Welcome back to Hanyak Honeybees. I'm Eric, and I thought I would answer some questions people been asking me about how we overwinter our bees. So as you can see, all these are just single deep. Five frames. And uh, we split those out of double deep eights, double deep fives, and we added our queens to them, and we will be selling these in the spring of 2021. But a lot of the overwintering techniques is basically being on top of things throughout the year, treating your honeybees, watching for high beetles, you know, treating for mites, staying on top of things. You can't just do it right at the very end and hope they make it. So what we got is a five frame deep and I have the entrance reducer set at three inches. We like extra ventilation to get the moisture out of our boxes. So we have a inch and a quarter hole in the front. And then on our no drown hive top feeder, there are four other inch and a quarter holes around it to allow that moisture to get out. And I'll show you what's going on inside. I've already removed the ladder and the sugar syrup tub and we put in this is just granulated sugar and they get in through that hole so all the moisture and such comes up out of that hole from the hive and is able to get out of the vent holes out the top I do have a few other videos explaining the hive top uh, feeder the no drown hive top feeder But this is how it sets up for the winter But uh, as far as mite treatment we do the oscillic acid vapor and We treat them in the spring. We treat them three times three weeks in a row so once every weekend for the first three weekends that you can work bees. And then after that, we go once a month until around mid-October, later in the October. And then we go ahead and treat them again three times before winter. And that should catch most of the mites that are sealed in the brood. So, and we also are trying something this year by planting some sun hemp and it was supposed to have a vining bean in it to help thicken it and it would grow up the hemp stalks but it got really dry around here and that bean really never got very big it didn't really start vining like it's supposed to so but we've had bucket feeders on top of these boxes earlier on this year and the wind we've had a few thunderstorms that came through we had a couple empty one gallon plastic buckets just sitting on top uh, of these nukes for feeding and the 70 mile an hour wind didn't even blow those empty buckets off. I couldn't believe it, but the screen was obviously thicker then with all the leaves, but it made that good of a windbreak and it didn't bend over, didn't break off. It won't blow down. So we'll see how it works this winter. But that's about it. Thanks for watching on Yak Honeybees. Hanyak.